name is Max Berry, and I'm a mechanical bank and toy collector. I've been a collector since 1967 of toys and banks, but I've been a, really a collector of different things since I can remember. I knew President Roosevelt was a big stamp collector, and he was very popular with my family and me. So I sort of had, and knowing that he was a collector, I sort of blessed it. I'm Michael Bertoya from Bertoya Auctions, and we're going to demonstrate a few mechanical banks in action. Okay, this is the Panorama Bank. The coin slot on this bank is actually in the back of the roof here. And when you enter a coin into the slot and push it down, it actually turns the image up front. Uh, this is the Jonah and the Whale Bank. Fun action. You have your whale here, Jonah. Here is your lever. The coin actually goes right on the top here, and the deposit takes place into the whale's mouth. On a weekend, you could drive 50 minutes and be in Gettysburg, and you'd see the Civil War fields and things. You'd uh, the battlefields, the, uh, the uh, touristy things that would take you in a trolley car, and Lincoln would be on there with you, writing his Gettysburg address. I mean, it's one of those kind of places. Collectors all around, and then there were flea markets, and there were antique shows and trade shows and so and there'd be special shows like a train meet a toy meet a black americana meeting and meetings like in the armory in silver spring maryland or somewhere there'd be an antique show or there'd be an auction in some town like westminster maryland i'd run up there and i'd get stuff like that my name is Jeannie bertoya and i am the owner of bertoya auctions uh, located in Vineland, New Jersey. Max has an incredible collection of antique toys and banks. Um, he started collecting uh, early on with all the greats of the mechanical bank collecting uh, world. And at that time, uh, finding a, a mechanical bank was a hard, a hard thing to to come across. Uh, they weren't as available as they are today through auctions and with the advent of the internet. But at that time, uh, trading was a, was a very important part of collecting. And he started collecting antique toys as well, just to make some trades for some of those rare banks that he didn't have. So he has a very um, vast collection of oddities. He has one of a kinds. Uh, and then he has all the, the great ones that everybody just dreams about. Only two examples of this bank are known to date. Uh, it's a manual bank. This is the lever right here. There's a coin slot right in the front where you just rest the coin. And as he fishes and pulls the fish out of the water, the fish will knock the coin into the bank, which is the depository at the bottom. Also, his hat will lift off. And his great surprise that he caught a fish. That is the Darkian Fisherman. Darky Fisherman Bank. Here's the preacher at the pulpit. It's a gravity fed bank. The coin slot is here and the depository is the front stand itself. And need a coin. The weight of the coin will cause his arm to drop down, making the deposit into the bank and lifting back up. And his head would nod in appreciation. I, I find that um, toy and bank collectors are such a passionate, enthusiastic bunch of collectors. They always have a smile on their face. When you're at an antique show, you can always tell the toy and bank collector just by that um, 
that smile that shows the child's coming out from within. This very popular bank is Red Riding Hood and the Big Bad Wolf. There is a lever on the side here, which makes Red Riding Hood turn her head, the wolf take off Granny's mask, and in the back, the coin would be deposited. Prepare the coin there, on the slot. And you see, the wolf shows his face, and the little Red Riding Hood throws her head back in surprise. Alright, this is the Wishbone Bank, quite rare bank. The coin deposit itself, the slot is here. And when hitting this big lever, the couple fights over the wishbone, breaking it in half. She falls back, therefore making the deposit into her bonnet there. And I decided the best thing to do was auction them off because I had a lot of fun getting them at auction. I really did. I had fun at conventions. And I had fun, you know, at antique shows. But you can't move all my stuff at an antique show or a, con a bank convention. So the one place you can is an auction. And Bertoia is going to auction it off in Vineland, New Jersey. They're going to auction it off in November. And then we'll have another big auction in uh, probably March. And they'll have like, I don't know, uh, you know, six, seven hundred objects in each, each one. We're very proud and honored to be selling the Max Ferry Toy and Bank Collection. Max is a passionate, enthusiastic collector. He has enjoyed the hobby. He collects so many different um, categories. But his favorite, he had the most fun collecting his toys and banks, and that says a lot for the hobby.